ladies and gentlemen, are you smoking pot? Are you enjoying smoking weed, marijuana? Probably most of you currently and also had experience to smoking pot all over the world, especially when you're from states or many of the European countries. Because states, some of the states, also like a European country, already realize the smoking marijuana. And if not realized, many of the European countries, also United States, the small amount of possession of marijuana will be never punished criminally. So basically you can't free to smoke. But when you come to Japan, don't smoke pot or don't possess any possession of marijuana because when the Japanese police found out you will sent into the jail at least one week, sometimes one month. So you will ruin your holiday vacations here. So don't smoke in Japan because Japan it's a really heavy crime. And why? Used to be in Japan before World War II, many people using marijuana, especially for the soldiers fighting for World War II, try to conquer the fear, try to become the fierce of the you know fighting fighter. So actually Japanese military recommend their soldiers to smoke pot to fight fiercely. But after World War II, Mr. Douglas MacArthur came to Japan to control Japanese society and GHQ decided for Japanese people not to smoke marijuana. They told us to criminally, severely punished in Japan for any kind of drug, especially even marijuana. Because United States want us to be hardworking people. Of course, if you smoke marijuana too much, you will become lazy. And of course, maybe slightly addictive like uh, drinking coffee. But come on, the basic principle, if people's freedom should be guaranteed as long as that person don't hurt others. So in that principle, marijuana never hurt other people most of the time. As a matter of fact, drinking alcohol can be dangerous. The reason drinking driving is severely punished for most of the country is if you drink, drive, can kill other people. So that's going to be hurt other people. So our freedom should be guaranteed as long as we don't hurt others. But Japan, US want us to become obedient worker for the United States, especially in that time, they have the Cold War time. So US want us work hard for the United States factory just as we expect most of the developing country to do, to work for us right now. So advanced country always exploit developing countries before and right now. So look at the country, which countries severely punish marijuana? Singapore, Philippines, Malaysia, and of course China. Okay, let's say Philippines, of course, used to be the colony of the United States. That's why US don't want Filipino people to smoke marijuana. And Singapore used to belong to Great Britain, Great Britain's colony. So Great Britain wants Singaporean people to work hard for Great Britain. Great Britain exploit from Singapore. That's why they don't want them to smoke marijuana to get lazy. They want those developing country people to work harder for them. And of course, Chinese case, China is still communist, state control. Of course, the leader of the China, communist leader, they don't want 1.3 billion Chinese people to get lazy because Chinese economy obviously go down. So on that purpose, marijuana, currently is 
severely illegal in Japan and most of those countries. But come on, if you experience smoke marijuana, marijuana is a lot safer than alcohol. Slightly addictive, but same level as a coffee. So I hope maybe not in the centuries, but we expect Japanese people smoke marijuana freely for maybe next century. See you next time.